what is what's defined with the scripture as to you know being the dead church, but others that were uh, uh, non-Catholic denominations have now joined them. Uh, we did the uh, the first rapture in Revelation uh, four one and two. Um, the um, the worship service that occurs in heaven in chapters uh, four and five. Uh, you know the Antichrist coming to power in uh, as a first seal in uh, chapter six verses one and two. And then he went through the uh, you know second seal, which is the wars, verses uh, three and four, and why Ezekiel 38 and 39 should be early in the tribulation period because of verses eight, 30, Ezekiel 38, 8, 11, and 14 say they're a safe peace and safety. A lot of people think it's the battle of Armageddon. It can't be impossible. There, you know you don't have peace and safety. You know in, you know in the second half of the tribulation period. All hell is breaking loose, not only from the Antichrist, but from God with the trumpet judgments and the vile judgments, where he says, if you don't know in the days, you know, um, uh, you, know, all, you know, all humanity would, would, uh, would die off. And then you've got the Antichrist in Revelation 12, uh, when he couldn't get after the people that run off the Petra to be, well, this way, you know, from, you know, from Israel down south, run off the Petra to be uh, protected. <clears throat> when he can't get at them, then he comes back to persecute the saints. Now those saints there are people who have newly convert converts. You have, you, we've had the first, we've had the first rapture, okay, um, <clears throat> yeah, for for the church. Then you have the two witnesses on day one coming and start witnessing to the people. Uh, they convert to, I believe they convert to 144,000, the flaming evangelists. When they go halfway through, you know, some of the people are going to get saved. Some of the Jews are going to get saved, you know, and you know, so. Uh, uh, so immediately when all those people who have been saved get raptured in the second rapture, you're going to immediately have other people who are saying, you know, my mom, my dad, uh, you know, sister, brother, whatever, friend, this friend, that friend, are now gone, and I'm still here. Must be the God of the Bible, okay? Because they're gone, and I'm still here, and i got to live through this stuff. You're immediately going to have more converts. Uh, so, um, you know, from, from the beginning, uh, you, have the, you have the first six Sealed judgments. The Antichrist comes to power. He confirms the covenant for uh, with Israel for one week, uh, meaning you know heptad is a Greek word. I forgot what it is uh, uh, in uh, Hebrew. It's in, it's in the it's in the write up. Uh, 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 you know, and uh, confirming uh, you know doesn't necessarily mean that he is he's making the treaty with them. If he's confirming it, he's going along with it at least. He may be the one signing it and saying, "Yeah, I'll give you protection." You know, and as we know, we you know we have a high suspicion that it could be comrade abomination. Uh, second seal, red horse. Uh, you know, the wars. There's there's three major. I see three major wars are not all you know uh, you know steps of uh, like Jack Van Empey says uh, three pieces to the Battle of Armageddon, where you have the War of Ezekiel 38. Uh, you have the uh, uh, the War of uh, Revelation 9, the Sixth Trumpet Judgment, the 200 million. Uh, in the Battle of Armageddon, he says that's that's all the same. It can't be. The timestamp showed that it can't be. Uh, <coughs> also, so uh, then with the with the uh, black horse, uh, you wind up uh, you wind up with famine. Notice in verse five it says, uh, uh, you know, he had with him a pair of balances. In verse six, a measure of wheat for a penny. A penny was a day is symbolic of a day's wage, and three measures of barley for a penny. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, and, uh, and uh, you know, the, the uh, one measure and three measure are, uh, are one meal, okay? Real hard to live when you, if you've got a family and kids, uh, to, for all of you to live on uh, uh, the, the one, one meal a day, uh, you know, uh, it just, it, do, it doesn't work. And that starts immediately. You know, we, we see that God uh, uh, shuts off the rain, so he's probably, and we see that he shuts off, there's a verse that says he shuts off the wind from the, you know, four corners of the earth. So... Uh, if it does rain, it's going to be only raining over the oceans. It's not going to be raining over the land. That's what causes the famine. You don't have any water. I assume the uh, um, the water table, you know, underneath the earth, you know, that we pump out for you know for uh, drinking water and whatever else, uh, is probably going to go away also. Uh, contaminated. Be, uh, you know, uh, people, people, oh, yeah. they won't have enough water to uh, to irrigate. They've already got that problem in California. 
Okay, you know, they got severe drought for five years. You know, in, you know, and I, you know, and being out there and driving around, uh, the LA River is really a hole uh, uh, that is, uh, uh, you know, a concrete, <laughs> a concrete hole. Okay, yeah. you know, it's it's flat in the bottom. It's got, you know, and it's all concrete. You would think that if they're worried about water, they would dam that up in different places and then draw the water off of there, rather than letting it just flow out into the uh, Pacific Ocean. If they're if they're worried, and that, you know, I guess now they're 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 thinking about doing that. Okay, but you know, much too late. You know, with uh, my personal belief that. Uh, you know, uh, tomorrow's June 15th, and two years and uh, three months from tomorrow would be the start of Rosh Hashanah, and be having a high suspicion, not saying it's true, that we that we very well could get raptured on that day. They're going to get done. <laughs> they're going to get done with all the dams they need to to, to have any water to, to use. Uh, the fourth seal um, is opened, and uh, you have death. The pale horse. The Greek word there used there is chloris. Uh, it's the color of pus in an infection, uh, and uh, death and hell follow, and it says uh, uh, that uh, a, a quarter of the world is going to be killed off. You know, you got a quarter of the world killed off here, and uh, so there's three parts left in Revelation 9, 15, and uh, 18, where uh, God wipes out, uh, where I believe it's a demon, a 200 demon army, they kill a third of the world. And then uh, near the end, uh, you know, in Matthew 24 or Mark 13, uh, where it says, uh, tour the field, once taken, once left, tour the bed, uh, tour the mill, once taken, once left, tour the bed, once taken, once left, shows worldwide. The mill is what, I mean, the field is what they did in the morning, the mill is what they did in the afternoon, and then, you know, at night, okay? And then it says two men. So we could, you know, secondary meaning, sodomy. Okay? Yes. This word says uh, about the pale horse and uh, the name, and his name that sat on him was death. Now, is that just referring to Satan, basically? Uh, and hell it, followed it, it after? Would, yeah. In other words, the laws? Well, yeah, because the people are not saved, mm -hmm. number one, they're not saved. That's where they're on. That's where they're headed. Mm -hmm. Everybody dies, right? Everybody, you know, only, only those death. For our con for the context that we're using for this class is, uh, it's not necessarily a physical death. It is us get you know we get raptured, okay? And you know, and as I said, I see four raptures because we have a loving God and His wrath never comes upon those who have been converted. So they get converted through before God more, more God's wrath comes on the world. He takes people out. It is getting out of the definition for this class is he we are getting out of our sin nature bodies. The sin gene is going away, and we're getting glorified bodies like Jesus had that can never die. All right, you know, and it'll, and it'll be real hard for uh, Satan uh, and all the and his demons and all the uh, enemies of the world to uh, kill us off when we can't be killed when we come back in the battle of Armageddon with uh, Jesus. No, Jesus is the one winning the battle, not us. You know, he defeats Satan with the word, and he's defeating the armies of the world with the word. Okay, he just says, "You're gone, and you're gone." Okay. Uh, we get to be there because we are his bride. We're coming back with our husband. And us guys have a hard time understanding being a bride. <laughs> it, it, don't, it, don't work, it don't work very well with our, with our, with our mentality. All right? Um, you know, you'll be, yeah. But it won't be now. Well, here for hell, it says Hades. Is that where, like, okay, at one time you had Abraham and and what's the other side, Hades? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah. these are yeah. The we're not. These we're not. Are damned. Yeah, they're damned. We are. We are not talking about the grave. Okay. Being, okay. You know, the you know, uh, hell and King James can be can be the grave and the body and the body without a spirit soul in it, or it can be the spirit soul in 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 hell. Yes. But don't worry about being female because there's no gender, right? You uh, all feel like yeah. a man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, we will feel more like a Start man than you. About PMS. We will, well, we, yeah, we will feel more like a man than you. Women will feel like a woman. Okay. Well, finally, because have a sense because, of because because it's uh, north, uh, north, south, east, and west. What? We'll have a sense of direction: north, south, east, and west. Uh, well, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. W women will Read finally, that. yeah. W women will, will finally uh, have a direction. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you stirred up the yeah. and, uh, and they'll learn to automatically keep no, the cars clean. No, you're kidding. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, the Bible says we will be like the angels, and I don't know of a single angel with a female name. So uh -huh. we will. I remember reading the place where it said about they were female angels. Oh, where was that? Where? Gosh, yeah. I don't remember. I think that's in oh. Zephaniah. It there is a place. There is a place there, but it doesn't give names. Does no, it? Names, no, but, names. But no names. No names. No names. Female. Okay. I can yeah. go with that because <clears throat> you're not going to give a female man's name. I, I could be the you Leo. Don't <laughs> <laughs> you? Get you name, forget. Don't you well, Leo, now remember, you got a whole bunch of Catholic popes named Leo. Remember <laughs> the yeah. names that people name. take okay. here on Earth and give to their kids. They are names that they've taken from the Bible. That Michael, maybe not was a you know I mean it wasn't a male, it wasn't a female, but they took it for. The males. Um, God's, the angel, God's angels of authority are males. When you read through, mm -hmm. they're the ones fighting the battles. Women don't fight battles. Okay. Well, you fight you fight battles with your husband. You don't fight battles. With your <laughs> okay. Uh, we don't. Fight. See, see, okay. See, That's we, a lie. Yeah. That's totally a lie. <laughs> we can't agree. You to forgot this to buy an alcohol milk. We know the real leader is, is the head of your household uh, because violence. because he has no. issues. Yeah. 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 Loud discussion. <laughs> loud, very loud discussion. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what you're talking about. Leader. Anyway. Move on. Yeah. 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 Physically, I'm at least 20 years younger than I really am. So, Rub it in. <laughs> so, um, so you know the uh, uh, no, the fifth seal, Revelation uh, uh, six nine. Um, you have the um, uh, all those people who were uh, were killed for being Christians. Now it goes it goes all the way back. You know, and it might you know, in a secondary meaning, it might actually mean Old Testament saints that they were killed for the faith too. All right, but more so. But more so in the New Testament, look at all the persecution of the church. Second Timothy uh, uh, 2, 2, 3, 12. Uh, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you will be persecuted. There's over 100 verses in King James, I'm, you know, I'm not going through any of the other Bibles to find out, where you have uh, persecution, affliction, suffering, tribulation, coming from the world. We're not talking about tribulation from God because that never comes upon us. But tribulation from the world. And in all those verses, it's all against Christians. It's all against us. Martha, you want to say something? Yeah. This fifth seal... Um, am I getting it right that all, all the fifth seal is about is the people who, like you said, are receiving these white robes? It's almost like that's the only seal no, they, that no, doesn't have all the violence. No, they, 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 they have the white robes, but the fifth seal, they ask God to avenge the, their blood. Oh, okay. They ask God to avenge the, the, the people, uh, take a vengeance on the people that murdered them. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, you know, that starts in heaven there, but it does, it is not, there are certain things within the book of Revelation where I see it are not necessarily completed right away, all right? And this is one of them. You see that uh, <clears throat> God can be taking the people out with the, uh, uh, in uh, Revelation 14, right after you have the pre-wrath rapture, Jesus taken harvest, then in 17 to, to 19, it says a, a, another sickle, a sickle is given to another angel, to take a harvest, to put in the wine press of God's wrath. That is the beginning of the fulfillment of this. When you have the battle of Armageddon, where God gets rid of more ungodly, you have a secondary stage of, that I see of this. But it ultimately comes down to the, uh, uh, the white throne judgment, Revelation 20, verse 11 to 15. Where the book, where the books are, you know, you have the books which are their sins. You have the book which is the book of life. The book is opened. Their name is not there, so they judge on the books. And for everything they did, they don't have a savior. They have to atone for it for themselves. And when they killed other people that were really Christians, they have to atone for that too. Mm -hmm. So when they're thrown in the lake of fire, which the Bible says we will be able to see for all eternity, um, they will be. Uh, 
uh, they will be there in torment, and they will know exactly why the level of torment is at the level they say. Okay, every you know, it says hell gives up, the grain gives up, the you know the sea gives up the bodies. Okay, that that is the that is the second resurrection. It's a resurrection to death. They get a body too, just like we do. But it's you know, and it's a body that will be you know will be the constant after their judgment and thrown in the uh, lake of fire. Their judgment, uh, they will be in the constant state of dying, but never completing that process. And uh, you know. How many people today don't want to you know, just laugh at you when you talk about it? Okay, mm -hmm. All they care about is the here and the now. All right, It's all about me, my, and I. They're on the whole unholy trinity, etc. So, uh, you know, and God tells them that uh, he has to wait uh, until all the servants who are going to be persecuted. Remember, all the Jews are going to be persecuted yeah. in the second half of the tribulation period. Two-thirds of them are going to die during the tribulation period. Satan is going to come after them because they're, they're the wife of God the Father. He hates them. Why do you think all the world is trying to get rid of the Jews? It's all Satan driven. It's all demonic driven uh, to get rid of them. If, he can, if, he, if Satan can find a way to have, have one scripture violated, then God is no longer God. He doesn't have to spend the mercy in the lake of fire with the most torment of anybody. Okay? Because he's the originator of all the trouble, of all the sin, of everything goes on. He's the one that tempted the angels to fall with them, to the beginning of the demons. He's the one that's been tempting people, especially those in power, to do bad things. You know, you know your Lenin, Stalin, Mao, uh, Pol Pot, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you, know, you know, the, the idiot that's in uh, uh, North Korea, uh, Kim Jong-un, you know, his dad, Kim Jong-il. Uh, Etc. You know, you know all the all the communist <laughs> leaders who, uh, you know, and all the different uh, dictators who are, have done so many vile things uh, within their lifetime. They're all going to get judged. You know, uh, God says, uh, you know, you only have one opportunity to be saved. When you read Hebrews six verse four to six, for you to come back to the to the point again of uh, of understanding salvation and have the opportunity to be uh, saved. Jesus would have to die on the cross a second time, putting him to an open shame. That's where we. That's where we. You know, uh, we should all be struggling with uh, relatives and friends. That when the rapture occurs, we're here coming up to it. Um, that if if uh, if we have uh, relatives and friends who have had an opportunity before that, you know, Second Thessalonians two eleven on the other side says they're going to be sent a strong delusion, so they will not accept. Okay. Because by, by seeing, by seeing, you know, some, somewhere, you know, a billion or more people leaving Earth is is what I gather from uh, uh, the parable of the ten virgins in Matthew 25, 1 to 10. Uh, five have the oil and five do not. Okay, oil is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. Uh, that uh, is saying that only half the people that claim to be the church are really saved. When you have 2.3 billion people on Earth right now claiming to be saved. That you're down to 1.1, 1.2 billion people that are going to get raptured, and the others are all fake. Those would be the people that are going. They, a bunch of those are going to be the ones that are going on the other side. Okay, mm -hmm. a lot of people are just going through the motions. You know, unfortunately, we see that here in America. Um, too many people will go to church on Sunday or go to mass on Sunday, and the Catholics, you know, have their mass every day of the week, uh, but their faith really isn't in Christ. Their faith is in the church. Their faith is in uh, you know, Mary or Michael the Archangel or any number of the others who have, uh, uh, who they have canonized to be saints rather than us who are saints because the Bible tells us we are. Uh, because we have the Holy Spirit, that's a saint. Uh, a lot of those people, when they get on the other side, they're not going to have another. They're not going to have another chance. God says you only get one, and you know He's the one that makes the rules. I don't make the rules. He says, and we follow. Okay, that's why it's important for us as Christians to uh, reverence this book. You know, this is this is what we're going to be judged by. We're not going to be judged by dogmas and traditions, no matter what denomination people belong to. Okay, uh, it it doesn't work that way. Uh, just because the Catholic Church says you're going to have all those saints standing with you because you prayed to them when you go before God, and they're and they're going to and they're going to defend you, and and if God doesn't want to let you in, they're they're, they're going to be there to say, let them in, let them in. They, they, you know, it doesn't work that way. You stand alone. And they don't get it. You know, God God is not going to have others looking at at when God brings up your each of our sins to 
you know, if when we when we go in front of him, you know, we'll be at the beam of seat judgment. When if that uh, when we go before him, uh, no no one else is going to be there. Okay, it's private. You know, so that when our sins are exposed and what God thought about them, and you know, we get demerits along with the uh, you know the the pluses for for what we did, the credits. Uh, for what we did, uh, and God weighs them out and gives us our reward. Nobody's going to know what what uh, you know what the, uh, what the demerits were. Okay, just us. All right, it's going to be bad enough for us, you know. Um, and that you know. So anyway, so with the uh, with the fifth uh, seal judgment, the the martyrs say, "Avenge our uh, avenge our uh, blood," and God says, "Wait till the uh, wait till the number is complete." Um, and then with the sixth uh, uh, trumpet judgment. Uh, you know, the, the important verses are down in uh, 15 through uh, uh, 17. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens, and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. Thus, remember that Jesus has a scroll, back in Revelation uh, 5. Um, Jesus has a scroll with seven seals on. He's the one opening them. These, are, the first seven judgments, seal judgments, are the wrath of Jesus Christ. The second, the, the uh, trumpet judgments and uh, vial judgments, which come later, um, are, are basically from God the Father, but I'm sure Jesus is in it also. All right. Um, verse 17: For the great day of His wrath, meaning the wrath of the Lamb, is come, and who shall be able to stand? Nobody is going to be able to stand against Jesus Christ. They think they are, but nobody else is. I'm at the end of Revelation 6. Okay. Thank you. I just finished uh, reading 15 to 17. So you have all these earthly leaders that it lists in, uh, in uh, Revelation 15. I mean, uh, you know, uh, Revelation 6:15. Um, and and they're and they're saying, you know, kill us now because we you know we we can't stand against them. Um, and notice. Mm -hmm. Uh, these first six judgments start on day one. Now the seventh one doesn't start until the middle. That's why there's a gap right now. That in when we go out, chapter seven. Now you also we don't until until we get to Revelation 11, we don't find out that the two witnesses have have come, Elijah and Enoch. Okay, you know we got the proofs in, in my write up as to why it can't be uh, 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 Moses. Uh, you can't have two Jews. You know, two, two candlesticks, two churches, Jew and Gentile. Uh, Elijah and Moses are both, uh, uh, are both Jewish. Uh, Enoch was seven from Adam before the flood, so he's a Gentile. Uh, also, to raise uh, the body of Moses, he would have to get a glorified body. He's been dead for 3,500 years. <coughs> All right? God's, God's not going to raise his corrupted body into, in, into corruption. Okay? Because the Bible says in uh, uh, you know, 1 Thessalonians 15, 51 to 54, uh, corruption must put on incorruption. Okay? Yes, go ahead. Okay, so then on the Mount of Transfiguration, you know. Yes. Anyways. That was when, the law and the prophets. Yeah. Well, the disciples identified him as Moses and yeah, Elijah. Elijah. And that's Is one of the things. Is it a spirit they saw? Or? Well, yeah, there, yes. The, uh, it, was, it, was, it was a spirit. Okay. Uh, spirit representation, and they rep and this was under the law. See, only the last couple chapters of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John start the transition of the age of grace. It starts with Jesus dying on the cross, and it's not really completed until the day of Pentecost, uh, seven Sabbaths plus one day later. It's one of those proofs, one of the many proofs why we worship on Sunday, the first day of the week. And as you know, I spell it S-O-N-D-A-Y, so people understand who we're really worshiping. We're not worshiping the sun god. they got all these stupid Sabbatarians who say, oh, you're worshiping the sun, it's Sunday. And I say, you're worshiping Saturn on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's the seventh day of the week. Well, the Bible doesn't have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It has first day, second day, third day, seventh day. You look at this Jewish calendar yeah. and the months. Their months and in the middle of what was our months. Well, it's because they it's because they're on a lunar calendar, yeah. and we're and we're not a lunar calendar. A lunar, you know, the moon goes around the earth every twenty nine and a half days. So one month is thirty, next month is twenty nine, or vice versa. Okay, depending on which way they really start. I don't you know. Never look to see, um, you know, uh, which uh, um, 
you know, which, which way it is. Now, it would start, you know, the new year, the new year is uh, Rosh Hashanah, okay, and that's when I think we're going to get raptured. Uh, because it's Feast of Trumpets, we're changing the the night, the last trump. And it's a two-day festival, so I'm not saying a day or an hour, even if I said which year I thought, you know, which, which year it's going to be, which I haven't said, I just think, you know, I think it's 2017, because there are many different things are showing us those proofs that, uh, uh, I haven't looked to see which one's with, so, so they have a 354-day year. And seven times over a 19-year cycle, they will add a, a second Adair. Adair is the 12th month. Second Adair would be a 13th month of another 30 days. And when you work it out seven times over 19 years, you're making up for all those days. So that's what gets them back on cycle. That's why... If you, if you compare a Jewish calendar every, for, for a few years in a row, you, know, um, um, you, will, see, you will see whatever, whatever annual um, uh, Sabbath that you want to talk about. In this case, we're talking about you know, Rosh Hashanah. It could be Passover, you know, what, you know, uh, 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 Pentecost, whatever. They move backwards on our calendar. Then all of a sudden, they jump forward. Okay? That's when they've added the extra month. And then they go backwards again, and then you know, jump. Okay, so that's why they, that's why it moves around. That's why I tell you that Rosh Hashanah will be will be in September. But when you have uh, uh, Day of Atonement, which I think is going to be the Battle of Armageddon, it can be at the end of September, our calendar, or the first part of October. Same thing with the uh, Feast of Tabernacles. You know, if it's if it's you know the year where it's jumped backwards, it can be at the end of September, but. Real quick, it gets it gets back to October. Okay, so uh, uh, that's that's where that's where we have a difference. And God does things on a Jewish calendar; He doesn't do them on ours. Now, for us to understand this and going instead of going back, you know, 29 to 30, 29 to 30 all the time, He just does a flat 30 days. Okay, for each one. So, uh, in Revelation 7, we have the 144,000 that are sealed. Now, contrary to the uh, Jehovah Witnesses. There's no women here, so they, the 144,000 they think are, uh, are going to heaven and a bunch of women who claim to be part of their, their 144,000 that are going to heaven, uh, untrue. It has nothing to do with them. It has to do with being Jewish. It has nothing to do with, uh, uh, with their cult or our church. Uh, you know, when they have a seal uh, from, you know, and seals, you know, when it, this kind of a seal is always from, uh, you know, from the Holy Spirit, it's uh, meaning... You know, in verse uh, 3, uh, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the, the trees, till uh, we have uh, sealed the servants of our God in their forehead. Uh, that, I, you know, is going to be, uh, it's not going to be a physical seal like the, like the mark of the beast may be, or whatever. They have accepted Jesus, and when you do it, in your mind. They're sealed with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is indwelled in them. Dan, uh, the tribulation period is Daniel's 70th week. The age of grace is done. They're back under the law. There's still one week of the law left. You know, when uh, Daniel 9, 24, 27, 70 weeks of judgment on Israel, 69 weeks occurred and ended with the crucifixion of Jesus, and then, it, then there's a lull. That's the age of grace. Then we'll be, they'll have that 70th week. That is what the tribulation period is. So early in the tribulation, we don't know how early. It may, you know, may, you know, maybe the first couple days. Uh, maybe the first day. The, the, when the two witnesses come back, that's going to be a shock to Israel. Okay? Uh, they will probably, you know, and I like what uh, Perry Stone said, uh, that, they, that the two witnesses will probably be the ones that, or, that uh, orchestrate the building of the third temple, which we're ready to do right now, which I thought was great insight. I uh, hadn't thought about that before, because there's so many different things that we haven't thought about yet. I see that hand getting ready to go up. Okay? Go ahead. Does the Bible tell us, like, do, do the um, two witnesses just poof appear, yep. or do they come they, they, from someplace? Well, they're going to poof appear. Poof appear. Someplace. Okay. 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 Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, because they have come from heaven. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Now, they're going to be in their original bodies, a sin natured body. But they're representing God, and they, they, we know they don't have a glorified body because they get killed. Yeah. And the judgment with the seventh seal, even though we see it in uh, Revelation 8, 1 and 2, doesn't really occur until Revelation 11 when it tells you about the two witnesses. 
but the, spa the time, you know, this uh, space of a half an hour of silence in heaven, that's when the two witnesses get killed, and we see the whole world rejoicing. They think all the trouble is over, not realizing the judgment here, what I believe the judgment here is, it's not an opening for the seven trumpets to come, and the seven trumpet judgment is not an opening for the bio judgment to come, something else happens there. Then it's God saying, I'm no longer going to send you a prophet to warn you about what I'm going to do. He's just going to do it. Okay? Go ahead. The whole world, that these, that these I mean, can, can they see this? or They will see it. It'll be, on, it'll be on CNN. Oh. But nobody watches CNN, so they'll see it on Fox. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> and everybody will see it. The, the, the whole world will see it. Yes. And they will rejoice. They will be giving presents. And like, dare I say, Christmas? Yeah. yeah. Okay? The irony of it. Because they think they think all the trouble's over. Because before God does anything on earth, they're going they're going to they're going to proclaim it. You know, see, they're in effect going to be calling it down. God's going to tell them, declare this, and they're going to declare it, and then it happens. So the word earth sees, you know, from from their from the visual, human, three dimensional standpoint, they're going to think the two witnesses are calling down all these plagues and whatever else is going on. Okay. Uh, and so when the and the Antichrist is the only one that's allowed, allowed to kill them. Anyone else that comes after them, they kill them. Mm. Okay? You see that in Revelation 11? Yes. Okay, tag team, go, go ahead. Yeah. Who's next? Oh, okay. Why would the uh, two prophets uh, tell the Jews to build a temple? What does that matter? We don't have to do yeah. sacrifices. No, yeah, well, yeah. They, they, uh, well, we think they, you know, I, I, thought it was, I thought it was an interesting insight that they would be the ones... Who would, who would be uh, or who would be in control to say build it? Now they'll probably get you know they got they got everything ready to go. They've had it ready to go for uh, for 15 years or more, mm -hmm. all right. Uh, and uh, back then they said they they, they could they could make the, the temple in, in, in as little as 18 months. They're going to be you know, the, you know and as I've told you I think that's what starts the war of Ezekiel 38 39 where you got the Arab countries in Russia. You know, how dare you build your temple next to our Dome of the Rock, Al-Aqsa Mosque, and that's going to just infuriate all the, all the uh, Muslims. Now, uh, you know, uh, I go along with it, whether you want to or not, remember, there is nothing in end-time prophecy that's a salvation issue. Oh, no, okay, believe, no, I'm yeah. just asking, I'm still, I don't understand, why, why would God tell him to, you don't have to do sacrifice well, no more, what does the, it matter? It's like God announcing, you can do it now, okay? They're waiting, they, they know they can't do it yet. So here the two witnesses appear, Elijah and Enoch, and say, do it. That they're, they're, the, they're the ones that, are, uh, uh, that give, them the, give the Jews the authorization. They're the ones that would orchestrate it. Remember, Elijah saw the, the uh, first temple. Okay? He did? I think, yeah. Well, wait, wait. No, no, that's right. He did. He, uh, let me see. He was, was he? Yeah, he was before King David. Okay, so no, yeah. I guess he did. I guess no. he did. Okay. Uh, but they, they both know. Remember, once you get to heaven, you have all knowledge. They will have all knowledge about, you know, what, what's going on. All right? Uh, and they will be directed, uh, direct, they'll be one of those people. See, under the law, only certain people have the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The two witnesses and the 144,000 have the Holy Spirit, and everybody else is supposed to follow them in order to get to heaven, all right? The, you know, back under the law. Um, so they will, they, they, will, they will have the knowledge they need to say, uh, you know, when someone has a question, you know, how do I do this? How, how, do, I, how do I understand? And I assume they're going to use Ezekiel 40 to 48, even though uh, there are indications in there that that's for the fourth temple. They'll probably be using the same passages to create the third temple. Even you know, and uh, they, when when they, and when they have questions about what does this mean, they will be able to answer the question. So in effect, they're 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 the uh, uh, they're the ones uh, uh, orchestrating the uh, uh, creation of the third temple. Go ahead with the next question. Well, why would God tell them, hey, build a temple just so I can get get it defiled and destroyed and build another one? Um, so well, it's all to fulfill what he has described and what he said they they need to do. So the Jews can start getting saved. They would, you know, the Bible says without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness. They know they need that temple, but at the same time they're going to have G they're going to find out about Jesus. Remember with Ezekiel 38 and 39, right afterwards, um, you're, uh, uh, in 
39, uh, was it 7, 22, 28, 29, it says from that day forward they will know who the Messiah is because God intercedes. And the temple's going away. Uh, it's, a, it's a way, with the third temple going away, it's a way of shocking the Jews that haven't accepted yet to say, this guy claims to be God, he's in our temple, okay? You know, that's, you know anything to get the people to think, okay, is, 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 uh, is my best guess. Because right now, there's, there's a whole lot of guesswork going on with what's happening. Because it hasn't happened yet. That's why it's not a salvation issue. You got another question? Yeah. This um, one world government, are the Jews going to uh, come in on that? Cause on which government? On the one world government when the Antichrist... Probably not, because he, the Antichrist is going to be coming after them. Okay, he'll be coming See, after them. See, they're going to be torn. They're going to be torn. Don't you think he might be the one that says, okay, I'll let you build your... Build your uh, temple. temple, just kind of to get them to kind of like him a little yeah. bit. Well, you when you trust him. Okay, more. when you um, I have a section in there on the write up that shows the Bible verses where the Jews may misinterpret them to accept the Antichrist. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Okay, even though those them. verses really don't really don't occur until the Millennial Kingdom. <clears throat> that initially they're going to be wondering, you know, he, he starts out, he starts out as just being a world ruler, okay? The world That's ruler, the ruler of the one world government as the Council on Foreign Relations, Trilateral Commission, Villa Burgers, Rothschilds, and, Count, and uh, Club of Rome have all designated uh, Comrade Abomination to be the one, leader of the one world government. That's one of the reasons why we think he very well could become the Antichrist, that they could accept it and stop to realize this too. He claims to be a Christian, but he's really a Muslim. Uh, he claims to be black, but he's also half white. Uh, you know, he's a leader of the uh, he's a leader of the uh, uh, quote unquote free world, and he's running us into the ground, and destroying us. Okay. He claims to be heterosexual. Yeah, right. Yeah, what, yeah, right. Yeah. So you know, he's a combination of everything on earth. He wasn't he's not, yeah. Well, no, no. But realize, he is the ultimate. He's the ultimate representation of what Earth is in one person, and being the leader of, of all. Okay, you know, I'm not, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure I come up with the right words for you guys to understand what I'm really saying. He's a full representation of, of everything. Um, that uh, you know, and when and when and we see that that he is now getting really buddy buddy with uh, with the Pope, and this is that 113th Pope that uh, uh, the. Uh, um, Irish uh, uh, Bishop uh, Malachi, back in what, 1139, predicted that uh, the 113th one would lead the church through great, through great tribulation to the coming of, uh, the, to the second coming of Jesus Christ. Well, he's looking like the false prophet because he's, he's even violating the, uh, the, uh, uh, the new catechism of the Catholic Church. Okay? Uh, he's going along with global warming. Sometime this month he's supposed to come out with an encyclical. Uh, supporting global warming. Well, there's going to be global warming, but it ain't going to happen until, <laughs> yeah. until, until, until that, that last few months when the, uh, when the last vital judgments occur, when the sun gets seven times hotter, you know, global warming will have finally arrived. Okay? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah you're, you're first. She, she's asked questions before. So. Yeah. Isn't it amazing to watch this plan? Like with Obama being all that he is and how he got in. Yes. And everybody praised him and all that. Kind yes. Of thing. It's just amazing. To well, see he said, I am the one, one you are waiting for. He yeah. used the I am for himself. When he had his, uh, his, his acceptance speech, when he got elected the first time, he intentionally went to Denver to the uh, Bronco mm -hmm. Stadium. White horse. And, and there was a white horse mm -hmm. above him, mm -hmm. symbolizing mm -hmm. Revelation 6, verses 1 and 2. It's amazing how things just fit together if you look and see what's really going on. When we took the oath of office, he messed it up. Well, and they did well, it privately. Yeah, yeah. We don't know well, they they said, said that uh, they said that. Uh, uh, Roberts. Yeah, Roberts did. Yeah, Robert. Yeah, whatever. You know. Uh, yeah, but who yeah. knows the plan there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't remember. You know. Uh, it doesn't matter. He doesn't care. Yeah. 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 An oath. An oath means nothing to him. Yeah. You know, uh, he took an oath to the Constitution, which he's now ripping up, okay? Taking away First Amendment rights. you notice the persecution is beginning in America. Yeah. All the different things, you know, the, uh, 
um, chaplains in the army. We've had them forever. Mm -hmm. Cannot cannot talk to people about <laughs> biblical values when they come to them to get advice. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Okay. Jesus name. You know, we know about Klingon Schmidt. He's been here at this church and yeah. him, getting, him getting kicked out, uh, being a chaplain. You know, just a couple of years before he had his, uh, uh, he could get his pension. Uh, and you had a question. Yeah, I was just now the witnesses, they're coming in the middle of the tribulation. Is that correct? No, they're coming early on. The two witnesses. The the two witnesses come at the beginning, day one. They're, you know, when you read Revelation 11, they have been prophesying for 1,260 days, or times, times, and half a time. Uh, what's that, verses 3 and 3, 2 and 4, something like that? Try to put 42 months in verse 2. Uh, verse 3, uh, uh, 1,203 score uh, days in sackcloth. Okay? So it says it two different ways, 42 months of 30 days. And then you know it's 30 days because when you divide uh, 1,260 uh, by 42, you come up with 30. Okay? And I, you know, in the in the write-up, I give you all the different uh, number combinations that are talked about with uh, uh, in the Book of Revelation, whether it be 42 months, 84 months, 84 months is not listed, but you got 42 for the first half and 42 for the second half. Uh, you know, you know how one is great tribulation, one is uh, just tribulation, back and forth. Um, so it's you know it's it, you know I, I, I covered it in there. Um, so then with you know back to the uh, 144,000, it says there are 12,000 from each of the tribes of Israel, but Dan is not listed. And you will notice that in verse six near the end, Manasseh is listed. Uh, Manasseh is the one that replaced Dan. He is the uh, one of the sons of Joseph, who is listed in uh, uh, verse eight. So Joseph gets his double portion, um, and you know, couple couple uh, possibilities. No one knows for sure uh, why Dan is not listed. Uh, some say the tribe of Dan went went from from Israel into Europe and intermarried to the point where they don't exist anymore. Others say he went to Africa and intermixed, and and, and uh, this is how Conrad Abomination could be uh, a part of the tribe of Dan. To be the Antichrist, okay, uh, or they could have split them both. Nobody knows for sure. A uh, bunch of speculation, and I'm just speculating too. But I give you guys the options of what you know what people are thinking at this point in time uh, during the tribulation period. We we might find out. Now, um, you know, chances are uh, biologically he is not part of the tribe of Dan because uh, his real father. Uh, uh, could be uh, Frank Marshall Davis or what, you know, whatever, whatever it is, because he looks a whole lot like him, as we can tell. He doesn't look anything like uh, Obama Senior. All right. Uh, so uh, this is all part. When the Bible says the Antichrist will will come to power quickly, we saw how quick he came to power in the United States. Okay. And he's bored now being president of the United States. Uh, he wants to be the world leader and have control over everybody. Look at all the vacations that uh, Michelle, who might be really Michael, uh, uh, you know, uh, Michael the Archangel. What? No. Michael, Michael the Archangel. Archangel. Yeah. Archangel. No, no. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe Satan's Archangel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, he came to power quickly. Look at all the vacation stuff that she takes. Look at all the times he plays golf and basketball. You know, he's not, you know, you know, his whole purpose is to destroy America, and he, I believe he's going to accomplish it before he leaves office. Most likely after the election uh, uh, next year, after the November election, and before uh, uh, he actually leaves office. I expect him to collapse the American economy, and so you know, America's done. And then America will join the one world government. As long as America still has prosperity, even though we're having high, you know, uh, economically, you got a whole lot of people that are uh, on welfare and can't find jobs and. Uh, the government uh, wants to uh, control them, so you know, keep them off of keep them off the jobs. And, you know, got to get their money from the government, and, and uh, you know, and uh, vote for the Democrats to uh, keep them in office. And uh, America, America, you know, even though we still have the prosperity, America would not join a one world government until America collapses, and then becomes the, the advantage to do that. All right, and I expect Obama to do that. Um, so we have the 144,000. Then an interesting verse afterwards, uh, verse 9. After this, another one of those timestamps. 
you know, the third timestamp. Always look at the timestamps. You can see what's going on. Uh, you know, we got, uh, you got uh, after this in uh, Revelation 4.1. Uh, you got after these things in uh, Revelation 7. Uh, you got, in, you know, verse 1. Uh, in verse 9, you got after this. Uh, Behold, lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and tongues, uh, and people and tongues, uh, stood before the throne and before the Lamb. So they're they're in heaven. This is this is what's happening right after the 144,000. That's us standing up there. We're part of this crowd. You know, we represent a whole bunch of different uh, uh, people groups. You know, with the with our heritage from uh, different uh, European countries and you know or, or Africa or whatever with uh, with other people that uh, belong to this church, uh, we're in white robes, which means we are uh, saved, and uh, palms in our hands. Remember Palm Sunday, a representation of, of this, crying with a loud voice, saying, "Salvation to our God, which sits upon the throne and under the Lamb." Jesus Christ is referred to as what thirty or thirty-eight times, something like that, as being the Lamb of God. Uh, all the way through Revelation, uh, you know, and then they go into a little, a little bit of a, of a worship service. Uh, you know, when it says, you know, in verse 14, I had a hard time understanding this until I remembered the context uh, of uh, Revelation 3:10. Uh, these, these are they which come, you know, in the middle. These are they that come out of the great tribulation. Um, and have washed their robes and uh, made them white uh, with the uh, blood of the Lamb. Anyone who has accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior uh, has, has, uh, 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 and gets raptured out of Ek. You know, the word Ek, is, I don't think it's used there. Like